Uh, we're still continuing the search, and uh, we appreciate everybody's uh, cooperation. We know everyone's concerned out there about this case and uh, locating her and providing some closure for her family. So um, this is a situation, these are difficult because we don't know if she's gonna be found five minutes from now or five days from now. So we're still gonna be continuing this effort. Um, I'll take any questions that you guys have at this point. I don't have a statement from the family. Um, our investigators have been with contact with, in contact with the family since the beginning of this. Um, we have a liaison with the family, uh, working with them, and of course, they're going through an extremely difficult time, and we're trying to do everything we can to provide uh, as much resources as we can and provide some closure for them. My understanding is that as long as this re operation is going on, the lake will remain closed to the public. Any idea of how long the operation is going to continue? It's hard to say. Like I said, we can't predict. I mean, we may find her in, in an hour from now or several days from now. So there's just no way to predict that. Okay? I know you've mentioned it, but can you talk again about the conditions underneath the lake and why it's so hard to find? Yeah, so with this being a reservoir, there's trees down below. Um, this is a canyon that uh, essentially they put a dam on and then flooded many years ago. So uh, it's not like a naturally occurring lake, like in a bowl that just has sediment and rocks on the bottom. Uh, you have a creek that runs into it that connects to Lake Pyramid north of here. And then you have a creek that runs out of it and goes to the Santa Clara River. So there is a flow to this lake. Every lake has a certain current. And then in the afternoons, you see how the wind builds up comes up the canyon so it pushes the surface water toward the back of the canyon even though the flow of the creek is coming into the lake so uh, that creates a little bit of an effect there um, but I'm told by some of the divers that even with that current um, wherever she went down they're confident that that's where she'll be found it's just finding that spot uh, that's the difficult part I mean you can see the lakes more than two miles long at its deepest point, it's about 130 feet deep. Uh, there's a lot of area to cover.